Hello everyone. So in a previous demonstration, we saw how to visualize contents of a file in visualization here. And earlier on, we implemented a, a data logger that um, saves data in a CSV file. So basically what it does, it receives uh, data uh, via a REST API. So there is a REST uh, client implemented on this PLC uh, that we used to get data from a REST API. And when we receive that data, we record that data together with the timestamp when we receive the data into a CSV file. And then we saw how we can visualize the contents of this uh, file as the logging is going on without uh, going through the trouble of uh, connecting to the PLC via SFTP and then getting the file from there and then putting it on our local computer and then opening it and visualizing it. So we can visualize the file directly here in, in visualization. So we can see uh, as the PLC is logging data into the CSV file, we can always open it and visualize it and see its content and make sure that um, everything is working correctly. So this is what we achieved last time. Visualize contents of a file in visualization here. We created a simple visualization page as you can see here. There are two buttons. There's the open button, which opens the file to visualize and then the close that closes the file and clears the whole screen. So this is what we did last time. So as you can see, as we get more data, we can always click the open and see all the data that we've received so far. But this time around, what we want to do actually is to download the file from visualization here onto our local machine without still the trouble of going uh, or using an FTP tool, connect to the controller, and then get the file from there, put it on your computer, and then open it. It's a long process and it's tedious. We can download the file directly from visualization here onto our local ma machine, local computer, and then open it and, and um, do whatever we want to do with the data. So that is what we want to do now. So, um, Log out here, and I want to add a new button. So I'll add an extra button here. I'll just copy this button and uh, put it here. And I'm going to call this, uh, the text here, I'll just say download, download file. And what you want to do is, um, I'll come here, I'll, I'll remove this uh, toggle property because we don't need it anymore. So what you, do, you want to do is you come to, you. Uh, this uh, input configuration here, and we shall go under, we shall use this on mouse down uh, option. So under this uh, on mouse down option, we want to choose the uh, file transfer function here. So choose file transfer function, and under file transfer function, under direction here, you select, there are two options you can select. You can select from POC to visualization or from visualization to POC. We want to select from POC to visualization. The other parameter you want to set is this type, so you can select a stream, streaming, or you can select a file. We are going to select file for this uh, case. And now you want to select the file name. So remember the file is saved on the controller and you have to specify the path to that file. So we already have a file name that contains a path to our file. I'll select it here. So it's uh, this is file name. And then uh, control flags, we shall leave that as blank. These are status variables. If you want, you can put those in. So basically here you can put in a variable to indicate when transfer is active. You can uh, put in a variable here to indicate when transfer has been successful, or and you can put in a variable here to record an error code in case an error occurs during this uh, process. But we shall leave those blank. The main uh, parameters is the direction here, the type, and the file name. File name is the path to the file, and we just click OK. So as you see here, our file name is uh, data.csv, so it's in the root, uh, runtime root, uh, the, uh, directory there. So it's data to CSV, and you can see that it's saved in this uh, S file name variable. That, that's the one that we've used. And looks like everything is okay. Now all we have to do is upload this code. And uh, code is uploading now. Code has uploaded. Now we have started receiving data. I have to click run. And we can go to our visualization page here. And we can definitely see that we've received, we are receiving data if we click this open file, so data should appear here. So as you can see, we are already receiving data. Uh, it's CSV format, like we said, there is the header there or the title. So we have date, time, and that data. So that is how uh, uh, things are arranged there. If we click again, open, we can see that we've got more data again. So data is flowing in, data is flowing in. We can always click this open file and load more data here in our um, visualization. And now if we click download, now we should be able to download the file containing this data. So I click download here. And as you can see here, the dialog comes up here and it shows that a file has been downloaded and we can open it. So I can click open file. 
and it should open from this other screen of mine and you can see this is the data we received so if you want to compare it's exactly the same data there so you can see it's in csv format as well and what we can do actually is we can uh, also um, convert it so we shall come here fixed column or rather we're using the delimiter because that is what we used next we select the delimiter using the semicolon next we leave this in general text and this one text and this one as well text next and then we finish and as you can see we have our data in csv format and now we've converted it to to uh, columns and you can see we have our data there so everything looks uh, pretty fine we can always uh, load more data as it comes in and you can see we can even scroll so we visualize it and then if we decide to download the file again we click the download button there you can see it creates another uh, file so this was data and then this one is data one again we can open this and you shall see uh, that we have even more data this time around so again file has opened there and you can see now we have more data and it's in correct csv format just as intended so simple recap uh, you can visualize quotes of the file but you can also download them so that is it for this uh, demonstration uh, thank you and have a nice day